Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world away, and we now got issue 143 of Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. Okay, I know you're asking yourself, where's issues 141 and 142, Wayne? Well, issue 142 is here, and as you can see, we've just got a rail, that's it. Uh, issue 141 wasn't in my news agents, it is on order and it should be here this week. So they will be catch up for these this week, but you've already seen me put a rail in before, and you've already put me see me do a railway tie, so uh, not really much to show you. I thought this one's going to be a lot more interesting. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the magazine. Stay tuned to the end, because I'm actually going to weigh the car. A lot of people have been asking me how much the car weighs, so I'm going to get that on the scales. I'm also going to give you some information about how you can enter an Ironman competition that uh, I've got going this week and next week up till Thursday, but you'll see that at the end of this video. Anyway, this is going to be a real fiddly one. So as you can see, all we've got to do, we're going to put loads of details in the hood box here. It's looking really good, and by the time we're finished, if I just turn over the next page there, uh, we're going to have done the whole like three quarters done, and we're going to have just this little section here. I won't, I'll go into detail a bit more about what details we're putting in as we go through them. Uh, and in the next issue as you can see we've got another railway tie uh, which is ironic because I've still got to do a railway tie from issue 141 I think it is something like that uh, the other thing I want to tease you with is that uh, Mike Lane posted on his Instagram uh, channel this surround for the hood box which looks pretty amazing doesn't it so uh, I can't wait if he gets that out if it comes out at all who knows but uh, anyway without further ado let's get cracking Okay, without further ado the first detail we need is a little cage piece like that with a single hole in the middle and then we need the piece that they're calling 143P. Now there's two bits that look like that. The bigger bit that you see on this side is never going to fit through this hole here, as you can see. So it's not that bit. So 143P must be the smaller attachment looking just like that. So all we do is we're going to put that underneath, just like the last one here. So it comes out of the top, just like that. And then we're going to be putting issue 143C on. Now that looks like that. It's got a silver base with a little flange at the base. That's just going to be pressed over the top of that there and pushed in as far as it can go. As you can see, look, this one goes in perfect. There's no wobble in it at all, which we normally have from the last one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring over the hood box like we had last time. I'm just going to move the wires over that we got here. just like that because this piece is going to be going in there just like that. Now we're going to be screwing this piece in here with QP screws. So I'll get them out there. These are really tiny so I'm going to be using my PH00 screwdriver for these because they hold these screws better. Load it up. Line up where this is going to go and then we'll put the first one in. Here's the first one going in. That was a little bit tricky to line up. These screws are really tiny. And if I just load one up there, look, look how tiny that is on the end of my screwdriver there. Uh, we'll put the second one in there. Just lining up the hole. Makes things a little bit better. And here's the second one going in now. Now that's that bit completely in. No wobble on that at all. I did knock one of these wires out. So I'm just going to put that wire back in. And there we go. That's the wire tidied up. I need to just make them all go the same direction but i have got uh, that piece in there now now we can put that to one side because we're going to be working on this cage now looking just like that and this time we're going to be using these little points that are going underneath these are f61s and they are labeled on f61 but they actually call this part 1430 <laughs> i don't know why that is uh, so i've got my trusty sprue cutters here and i'm just going to cut off one at a time as i need them just like that and all we do is we put one underneath from the left here just like that, so it's coming out the top. And then we're going to be putting 143E on, which looks like this, and it's got a silver base, but it is straight all the way down. So this is just going to go on the top, just like this. And there we go, that's the first one in. That was fiddly, very fiddly. <laughs> now we're going to work our way through these holes, and we've got these details here, and I'm going to put them together. You've got two which are the same size, and they're going to go towards the end, and you've got one slightly smaller one that's going to go into the middle there. So, we're going to put these on exactly the same way throughout this whole run, and I'll show you what that looks like. There we go. When that's completed, it should look just like that. Ready to go in the hood box. So this one's going to be going into these two points here. I'm just moving that wire over again. And here, just like that. 
and they're going to be held in with these really really tiny QP screws and here's the second one going in those little tiny screws are really hard to put in I'm just going to tighten them up there we go and that's all of those valves in there as well looking just like that okay so we're going to do exactly the same thing now using this cage we've got three on this one and this is going to be slightly different that we're going to be having these three pieces here the valves here going sort of like I'm just going to break them off the sprues now these are actually falling off themselves I actually lost one because they're falling off that's why I haven't used the sprue cutter on them I'm just going to see which ones are the right size because they're going to be going on with the thicker one in the middle so it's going to look just like that on the camera and once again we're going to be putting these in with the three that we've got left on this sprue here so I'll get that all finished now now I don't like doing big cuts so I thought I'll show you <laughs> me putting these in because I'm sure you peeps like watching me have a hard time doing this <laughs> These ones aren't too bad, I have to say. That that last one we did the uh, with the four on, that was a nightmare. So let's uh, do the second one. So you don't see this, but these videos take like an hour to film. And obviously I, 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 uh, I don't see how fiddly it is. I uh, edit it down to like a 10 to 15 minute video. <laughs> but you don't hear me swearing. All you hear me doing is dropping things. So like... All you peeps are having these problems and don't think I do. Yeah, I do have these problems big time. Just like you. There we go. They're all in. Looking just like that. And then these are going to go back on the hood box here. And these are going to be going on this part just behind the spring at the back there. There's two holes in there. I don't know if you can see that. So we're going to get them in there. And once again, these are going to be held in with the fiddly QP screws. So let me show you what sort of trouble I have with these because I'm aware I've cut them. First of all, getting it loaded is probably the easy bit. I hold it like a pen and then I've lined up the holes already. So let's see if we can get these in. No, it's come off. <laughs> see, that's the problems. And this, my people, is why we cut for this bit. That's one in. <laughs> that was hard. Let's get the second one in. It's always the second ones which are the really hard ones. But uh, let's see how this goes. I've got to line it up. If it's not lined up, you're going to have a bad time. There we go. That feels good. No, it fell off. <laughs> Dag damn it! Oh wow, that's better. Look, if I lifted it up a bit, it was easier to get in. There we go, we got that in. So now, it's looking just like that. Then we've got this lovely coil part looking just like that. Now this is going to go over the top of the wires that we've got there on the hood box. So it's basically just going to be fitting in over the top of everything. Keeping everything in place. Just going to make sure the wires are still sort of tidy under there. Just like that. But this is going to be screwed in from the other side. They're going to be held in with AP screws. And once again, they do provide these screws, as you can see, in this build. So we'll get them out. I could use my normal size uh, PHO now. <laughs> Probably going to get this side in first. I'm holding that in on one side here. And we screw it in from this side. Just like that. Nice and tight. I'm going to go a bit slow. I'm not going to put it all the way in. Making sure the wires are still in. Yep, they are. I'm going to put the other side in. AP screw. And then once again, it's going to go into this hole here. There we go. Just like that. Now that's all in. Looking good, isn't it? <laughs> Now we've got another detail looking just like this. This is going just behind that light that was elevated there. And you can see a screw hole and a little lug hole. It's going to match the screw hole and lug hole we got in there. So we're going to put this in. Just like that. And that's going to sit perfectly like that. We've got to screw this in from underneath again. But this time we're using an NP screw. It's got the NP screws here. I need one of these. So uh, there's obviously a spare one in there. I'm going to hold that in place 
turn it over like that and then we get this in this hole. Perfect. And that's that piece in. It is at a slight angle, but obviously that's what it's meant to be, I guess, because the lug hole dict dictates where it's going. And then the last piece we've got to put in is this lovely big vacuum looking just like that. Now this one goes into that hole that we've just put on, just like that. You can straighten up a bit now if you wanted to, and that's going to be held in place with, like we saw at the start, the thicker one of these catches which comes in from the back of that little connector we just put in and there we go that's the hood box complete up to now what do you think of that that looks really good doesn't it and i think if we had to take all of this out to put it into mike lane's box it would look even better but that's what the hood lock box is looking like at the moment so i just run off a second ago and i got the scales and i weighed the car the car if anyone's wondering weighs 19 pound you can convert that into all your grams and kilograms and stone as much as you want 19 pound how cool is that it's really heavy that's why it's not on the uh, floating shelves anymore the second thing is that we have just got a date from eagle moss regarding the uh, ecto-1 ghostbusters build that's going to be in the uk on the 22nd of january i think that coincides with the delorean because issue 159 of the delorean ends the week before that in january so that's probably why we've got that uh release date here it comes out about I don't know, a month earlier in uh, the US and France has got it out this week, I believe. But uh, I don't know what's going on there. Well, well done to you, all you French people out there. You can order that, I believe, from the uh, Eagle Moss site now. But that's the state of play with the uh, Eagle Moss Ecto-1. And the last thing is I've got an Iron Man giveaway. Now down there, you see I've got loads of magazines you can't see. Uh, look at a picture that I've got on my social media. So I've got three of the build the Iron Mans to give away. I've got two issue ones and one issue two. All you've got to do is make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed on Twitter. And then all you've got to do is just send me a tweet uh, with your username for YouTube and just the hashtag, which is the important thing. And I'll put it down here as well. Wow Iron Build. All together. Don't matter if it's in capitals or little letters, it doesn't make a difference. Wow, I am Bill. That way I can do a search for that hashtag, bring up all the lists, and I'm going to draw it on Thursday's live stream next week so that uh, it's all fair and uh, we can get these out. Now, this is open worldwide, but the problem is if you do win and you're living in America or Australia, you won't be getting it on the card at the back. I'll be taking the magazines and the uh, uh, components or the, the pieces. Uh, and I'll be putting them together because it'll be cost far too much to post if I keep that massive card on the back as well. So bear that in mind. Uh, in the UK, I will keep the card on, but anywhere else, I'll be taking it off just to save on postage because I think it's going to cost about £25 postage abroad, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, that's how we're going to enter the competition. I will plug that every video I do this week, so uh, you'll be able to see that. So uh, without further ado, I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe. Take care.